Donald Trump has been posting things like, remove the gag order, what do you have to hide? President Biden's been posting things like, I signed into law the most significant gun safety reform in nearly three decades, but Congress must do more. We need universal background checks, a national red flag law, and we must ban assault weapons and high capacity magazines. The Senate Republicans are posting things like, President Trump facing 400 plus years in prison. Don't legitimize this witch hunt by ignoring this. Please, please, please sign the official GOP petition to drop all charges against President Trump. 500,000 names needed now. And then when you click it, it signs you up for a recurring contribution in a very deceptive way. The Senate Democrats, on the other hand, are posting Senate Democrats are working to lower the cost of prescription drugs. Republicans might be trying to stop the progress we have made, but we won't stop working for more. This as we head into a very big week. Later this week, there's going to be oral arguments before the United States Supreme Court on Donald Trump's claim that he has absolute immunity to order SEAL Team 6 to kill his political opponents, and there's nothing that you can do about it. We have, of course, a hearing on Donald Trump's defective surety bond that didn't comply with New York law after the appellate division reduced his bond obligation from about $500 million to $175 million. And then Donald Trump went to his buddy Don Hankey and seemed to have supplied an invalid surety. And of course, we have the Trump criminal trial where it is widely believed the first witness will be David Pecker, the former leader of a company called AMI. And AMI was the owner of the National Enquirer, which was involved in the initial catch and kill schemes by Donald Trump, whereby leading up to the 2016 election, AMI working in concert with Donald Trump would find either women Donald Trump had sex with, that Trump wanted to cover that up to say Melania was pregnant during that or other bad stories about Donald Trump. They would catch the stories. In other words, pay off the women or pay off people who had the bad stories, pay off a doorman at one of the apartments, for example. Then they would kill the story, not actually write about it and release it. And if the person wanted to tell their story, they would threaten to sue them. Ultimately, AMI uh, was violating the law because they were basically giving Donald Trump imputed income. They were buying off these bad stories on his behalf and no one was paying taxes on that. And those are, of course, taxable events. So AMI stopped. They were actually stopped by the feds um, and they entered into a non-prosecution uh, agreement with the feds where they basically are admitting to the conduct that they engaged in. And then Donald Trump utilized Michael Cohen to make the payments to Stormy Daniels after AMI stopped doing that. So David Pecker will be testifying about the crimes he and Trump were complicit in doing and to buy off um, these bad stories, including Trump having sex with women. So that's why Trump is now saying I mean, why he's been raging throughout the weekend, but he's saying, remove the gag order. What do you have to hide? Because he wants to go out and spend the weekend, in my opinion, threatening and harassing witnesses. And one of the things the gag order says is that you can't do that. Look, Trump is pretty much free to say whatever he wants. In fact, he can even attack the judge. He can even attack Alvin Bragg. Not physically, but he could say what he wants about them. You just can't threaten, harass, or intimidate witnesses. You can't talk about jurors. You can't threaten or harass the judge's family and the family members of the district attorney. That's all the gag order says. But here Donald Trump spends the whole weekend whining about that. Here's what Donald Trump is also saying. He goes, Truth Social is the real voice of America! Exclamation point, exclamation point. He's been trying to pump that stock. We've seen what's happened there. He whines, This trial is a long-rigged endurance contest. 
dealing with nasty, crooked people who want to destroy our country, MAGA 2024. Who talks like this? Who talks like this? Who would want something like this to ever be in power again? Who behaves this way? It's whiny, just, ugh. He writes, so many lightweights and fakes go on MSNBC and CNN along with other ratings, challenge networks and platforms purporting to know me as though they were a long lost relative only to have virtually no knowledge of me or anything about me. A weak and pathetic rhino named Miles Taylor who worked with one of the dumber generals around John Kelly speaks as though he has intimate knowledge of everything Trump. Other than seeing him on TV, I have no idea from the administration days who the hell he is. I assume a con man because he gets paid for talking about me, a subject he knows nothing about me, but that doesn't matter to NBC, to me, one of the worst news organizations in the world. There are many of these other phonies as well, and I'll let you all know who they are as soon as I get the chance. Truth! Exclamation point. It's just like, what are you talking about? And really, General John Kelly, your former chief of staff, I just want to get this right. Donald Trump basically attacks anybody who's ever worked with him at this point, you know, whether it's John Kelly, whether it's Bill Barr, whether it's John Bolton, whether it's his former defense secretary, whether it's his former vice president. I mean, it's, it's all of this all the time. You know, on the other hand, You've got President Biden posting things like, you've heard me say it before. Wall Street didn't build America. The middle class built America and unions built the middle class. I mean, seriously, who would look at President Biden saying, let's support the workers and then compare that to Donald Trump writing, remove the gag order. What do you have to hide and go, you know what? I gotta give the nuclear codes to the guy who's writing in all caps with the exclamation points and the guy who's whining and saying things like, how do so-called nonprofits get away with spending all of their time and money on getting Donald Trump? That's not the deal. We are watching these thugs and sleaze bags closely. I mean, it's all projection and confession from this guy. I mean, he literally uses his political action committees, which are tax-exempt entities, to basically fund his whole lifestyle at this point, right? We're talking about almost half a million dollars for Melania's hairstylist combined with her uh, hairdresser and, and all of her people spending all of the money from the pack on his private plane, spending all of this pack money for all of his personal lawyers. As I've said before, if you go and look through the, um, you know, the regs for um, political action committees, and then you look at the IRS code for imputed income, you know, in my opinion, these types of payments that Donald Trump's making should be taxable events. But it's all projection and confession from him. That's why he's he leads by going after the nonprofits, which are likely compliant, and he, on the other hand in my opinion, is not compliant. But again, that's my opinion. And then you've got President Biden posting things like this. Scranton, Pennsylvania is a place that climbs into your heart and never leaves. It's home, President Biden writes. I'm urging all governors to pardon prior state offenses of simple possession of marijuana. No one should be in a federal prison solely due to the possession of marijuana and no one should be in a local jail or state prison for that reason either. President Biden talks about the uh, national security package to fund Ukraine. Um, and he says, I urge the Senate to quickly send this to my desk. Now, on the other hand, with respect to Donald Trump, we learned about that he spent an eye-watering uh, $700 at Manhattan McDonald's during a break in the jury selection, but left no tip for workers. And as our editor-in-chief at MidasTouch.com, Ron Filipkowski says, and some of you doubted the authenticity of that farting story. Meanwhile, you have Melania Trump grifting and selling uh, uh, 
necklaces for $245, fake gold necklaces, and that's, you know, the difference. And I, I just want to point out here, you see how Trump is spending his time this weekend. You see how Biden is spending his time this weekend. And, and I just, I just appreciate whether, again, it's not a political party thing for me. It's just a matter of being a serious adult. And Trump's behavior, the frantic, raging, all caps, remove the gag order, this and that. It's just behavior. It's just act like an adult. Act like a grown-up. Then you see what the Senate Republicans are doing. Free him. Get, we, 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 we don't stand for law and order. We just want the dictator. Click this link and then we'll sign you up deceptively for recurring donations. Where you have the Senate Democrats, on the other hand, saying, let's come up with policy that does this, that, and the other thing for Americans. Tell me what you think. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers. Thanks to your support. Have a good one.